I've been making art all my life. I still drool in art supply stores, wanting to touch everything, to try out all the colors, feel the textures. When I was in grade school, I spent all my allowance on art and craft supplies and was soon trying to sell the results of my efforts door to door to the neighbors. I wanted more money for more art supplies. My best friend was crazy about animals, so we were soon drawing and painting horses and dogs and trying to sell those efforts. Then I started drawing portraits of everyone in the family and self-portraits while staring in the mirror. When I was a teenager and got my own bedroom, I soon turned that room into my studio. My father yelled at me, saying I was ruining the floor of the bedroom in his house by dripping oil paint on it. I said, it's not a bedroom in your house, it's my art studio. I can't remember if he slapped me for that one, but I guess he would have been justified. Once I started renting or owning the places I lived, I learned to put a paint tarp on the floors before working. Now I have a dedicated art studio so I can drip paint again without worrying about it. I like drawing and painting from life well enough and worked in watercolor, pastel, poster paint and oils as well as sketching in ink and charcoal. But the natural evolution of my art became more and more abstract. In a painting class at the University of Southern California my teacher asked, where did you learn to paint like this? No one else in the class was painting like that and I don't think he meant it as a compliment. Later in New York City, when I went to Cooper Union, I discovered the abstract expressionists. I had a visceral reaction to the work of these artists and my passion for this art was born. My painting teacher at the time encouraged us to go as far out as we felt inclined to, and I never wanted to come back. Expressive non-representational painting allows me to use all of myself to create with energy, gesture, passion, and pain. There is nothing I have to leave out of such painting, and the process is always a discovery, even when the result is an ugly mess. Many years later, I'm still in love with abstract painting. It remains fresh, providing a challenge with each new blank canvas. What will I discover today?